what's going on everybody welcome back to another video today we are uh do a little video about our travel trailer we bought a 1996 Layton skyline 30 foot travel trailer about nine months ago we've done some remodeling on the inside we still have some work to do uh back when we did the remodel i wasn't making youtube videos so i don't have a video i want to add some pictures uh to show what it used to look like what it looks like now uh where we're at what we're going to do next um kind of what our plans are to get the camper ready because for us today is the first day of spring so camping season is upon us we're ready to get rolling get this thing out uh we really enjoy this whole camping lifestyle we started it a few years ago uh started with a pop-up that we remodeled and then uh ventured into this one so again uh thanks for watching we're gonna jump in and show you where we're at All right, so let's hop on the inside and show you around real quick. So we're gonna start out in the kitchen. Um, you'll see in this camper, we painted basically everything white, repainted the ceilings, all the cabinets. Um, you'll see, if you remember, you saw in the pictures, everything was wood, you know, very 1996 looking. So uh, freshened everything up with fresh white paint. Uh, we went in the kitchen and used peel and stick, um, tile for the backsplash which turned out okay um we'll see how it holds up um put slip covers on the cushions at the dinette those turned out well um put down some new peel and stick tile in the kitchen again just basically freshened everything up right, so now we'll go to the living room um one good thing uh, the floor in here was really good they put someone had already put some new hardwood down uh, so we'll just we kept it as it was same setup as everywhere else painted everything white um, lisa put our decorations like her house in here so it turned out really pretty uh, the cabinets up here um, used again the center pieces are almost like fake wood it's um wallpaper basically those, those used to be etched glass um, that just didn't look good the the burlap you see was red velvet replaced knocked those panels out replaced them with some new ones covering burlap so um again that turned out well um, we'll go back to the bedroom real quick this is probably the biggest change of the camper when we bought it um we could tell in the original setup the long cabinet on the left there was one on the right at some point in this camper's life uh, when we bought it, the beds was out. The bed was out and it had been set up with bunks. Uh, there was a bunk bed um, running this way here towards the back and then one on the bottom, which, you know, that wasn't going to work for us. And we didn't want to go back to a full-size bed. So we left the cabin on the right as it was. We didn't try and put anything back there. We turned the bed, which would basically be sideways, and we put a queen-size mattress in here. So that works well for us. Again, everything got a fresh coat of paint, uh, decorated. Um, so, wallpaper here on this wall. Forgot to mention that. And then, of course, everything's freshly painted here. So, where we're at now is uh, this hallway. The, we're going to do the peeling stick floor just like we did in the kitchen. Um, and then this bathroom, you'll see the bathroom hasn't been touched. It is the same exact condition as it was when we bought it which is still some old wallpaper which has had its it's lived a good life but it's time for that to go you can see it's peeling off there we're going to paint all the cabinets um bottom cabinets we'll do the peeling stick floor through the hallway into the bathroom like the kitchen we'll clean all this up the one thing that we really won't touch will be the shower um just not a, i haven't found a good Good idea or anything on YouTube on a great way of doing that. I've seen people paint them, but then they don't really hold up. So we'll probably just leave the shower 
the way it is, uh, the wallpaper up top either come down or be painted over, depending on how tacky it still is. Uh, we'll do something with this big red velvet runner up there. That's got to go. And new shower curtain and things like that. And that will get us wrapped up on the inside. But again, that's the project we're going to work on now is the bathroom and hallway. Uh, so we'll see how this shows up in the video. But uh, the reason... I mean, you may, when you start a project like this, then when the ceilings aren't that bad. But then once you go in and start putting some fresh paint on it, it's pretty obvious. And wow, that was pretty nasty. You didn't even know it. So, and uh, the good thing is when you're painting, you know, everything, you don't necessarily have to be careful when you start painting the ceiling. Um, all these campers and RVs have this little rubber seal right here. And, um, I just paint over them and we did it in our pop-up and it worked and we'll do it here. Sometimes it takes multiple coats to get it to cover up right. But again, the cabinets are going to get painted. So I'm not having to be extra careful about not getting paint on everything. The walls are going to be painted. So if I get a little ceiling paint on the walls, really not hurting nothing. But again, just to kind of show you the contrast of what the ceiling used to look like and what it's going to look like. All right, so we got all the ceiling painted. Take this cover down, get it cleaned out and painted up good. Uh, we got just some random screws in here. We'll take those out. Um, there was some little rails, decorative rails on that, which I popped off before I started recording, but unless he's going to take him. Use a pair of pliers. Pull them out. stuff and record yourself at the same time so I don't know how well it's going to work so I won't record that um, clean this up and I'll take a box cutter and basically seam these edges here cut all this bad off same thing on the bottom uh, just cut it out pull off sand what I have to it doesn't have to be perfect um, I said the good thing is everything will be painted so if you miss a little spot here or there, it may take an extra coat of paint, but you just kind of clean it up with that. So we're going to keep going. All right, so this is what I was talking about. I didn't remove all of the bad, all of the wallpaper, just the spots that were frayed and loose and wrinkled. Um, so you got a pretty smooth edge here. Um, same thing down here. Uh, the paint will blend it. Um, now, granted, I'm, I'm not a painter and you know, people probably tell me how wrong that is, but I've done it in other parts of the camper. Did it in our pop-up when we remodeled it. Like I said, it may take a couple extra paints to a couple of extra coats of paint to to hide this, but it's better than trying to rip all of this wallpaper out. So uh, that's about ready. Then I'll come back through. There were screws everywhere, towel holders, whatever. But I'll come back through and spackle all these holes, get them covered up, get them ready to go, and then. Uh, we're not too awful far from being ready to paint this thing. So one thing I was glad to see is I took the cover off the, it's just a decorative cover that goes over the fan. You see it bolts here and it screws in here and goes around. Uh, on a good, good sign is there's no sign of any moisture on any of this wood. Well, sometimes, you know, you have an older camper, you, you worry about leaks. Of course, I think if you have any kind of camper, you worry about leaks, but the fact that, uh, we got a roof vent here with no signs of moisture. I think that's a really positive sign. Uh, so like I mentioned just a second ago, we get all these holes spackled in, just cover them up. We got them, I said they are everywhere, but uh, <clears throat> just uh, for my personal opinion, this is the best spackling. And I use it a ton on stuff in the house a lot. Uh, use it in, when we were doing this camp for the first time. Use it. So it's really good stuff. I'll, uh, once I get some put on, I'll show you if you've never seen it, uh, how it indicates when it's dry and ready to sand. So we'll jump on that here in just a minute. Oh, so that spackling has got this pink purple color that, uh, it's probably a little too much. But again, doing this in video is not the easiest thing in the world. Again, I'm no carpenter, I'm no painter. There's probably people gonna tell me that, oh, that's not how you do that, but it works for me, so 
that's what we're going to keep doing for now but you fill these holes in i use my i use a, a metal uh, putty knife that way i can kind of push put some pressure on it push the rough edges back into it um, you know you probably do it with a plastic one i just i don't ever do it or sometimes you need to scrape some rough edges off and, uh, so it's pretty simple just Get on there and fill the holes. And when it's ready to go, it will be white. So there's our uh, spackling tutorial for the day. <clears throat> so like I was saying, you see the purple now. Got all the holes spackled up. We'll let them dry, we'll sand them smooth a little bit. And just on another note, up here on the wood, there was some uh, screws put up there. So the stack will work good on this too. You can just uh, build a hole and smooth it out and paint right over it. All right, so we're not, while we're letting the spack and everything dry before we start painting, one thing we are gonna do is all the doors on the cabinets. And if I can get this one out, getting me in there. Uh, the door for the glass on it. We're gonna take all those off. It's just easier to paint them, um, not attached to them. You know, so we'll take them outside and paint them. And uh, as far as painting the wood, one thing we saw uh, a few years ago when we were remodeling our pop-up camper is that anything that was wood, of course there's tons of YouTube videos on, on all this stuff, but a lot of people say don't paint the wood. You can't paint the wood, it's gonna have to be sanded and primered and there's, you know, there's all, I guess just different variants, variances of opinions on them. But one, we found a video that basically said if it's wood or it has a shine on it before you paint it, wipe it down with alcohol and it helps the paint stick. Again, we did that in our pop-up. We did them in all the cabinets in, in this camper. And what we'll do with these, if I could find a link, I would link them in the comments because it worked well for us. Again, I know people have had um, projects that not went well painting the wood, but knock on wood, if it doesn't mess us up, uh, we've, we've done that with everything else. The wood, wipe it down with alcohol, let it dry, and then paint it, and it works well. So that's what we're going to do. So one thing I will show you too, is like I said, we're back in the kitchen now, but we do cabinets. We did this in our pop-up, we'll do it here too. Is we paint the cabinets. I don't paint the inside of them. You know, you may, maybe if you're doing a project like this and that bothers you, you're more than welcome to. But again, I just, uh, I don't see the need. I don't care that when I open this up to get a loaf of bread or something out if I've still got wood on the back. But if that bothers you, then when you take them off, you know, feel free. Paint both sides if that's what you want to do. Uh, so I will go ahead and tell you that if you try to do this and you're painting those wooden cabinets and you put the first coat on, it's going to look crappy. Don't freak out. That's just what it does. I usually take the first one and slap it on with the brush while I'm doing the edges. And then I come back over and smooth it with a roller, so don't freak out. All right, so we're back on uh, our second day on the bathroom project. Not that it's a two-day project, but um, just been busy. Took a break working on it. So kind of show you where we're at right now. Um, still got the bottom cabinets to do. Took the doors off there and then finish up around the sink and in the cabinets a few more coats need to go on here and there and then um yeah definitely gotta clean up around the around the shower so uh still some work to do uh so once you get all the wood painted let it dry good uh, even the wood down here on the bottom of the toilet you want to go over a couple of coats with this clear satin uh, protective finish just keeps the paint from getting chipped up and scrapped around the wood showing. So uh, that's what we're gonna do now. Uh, so while I've got a coat of clear on the cabinets, letting them dry, I'll start working on the backsplash. We're just using this 
really cheap, inexpensive uh, peel and stick subway looking tile. Um, used in the kitchen, it held up pretty well. So one thing I did is I took down this piece of uh, trim right here. The nail gotta get right there. Cut off some of the uh, loose wallpaper and then we're gonna start slapping this up and we'll see how it goes. All right, so we got the backsplash up. Got the doors back on the cabinet. Backsplash. Uh, try and get myself out of there. Oh, wooden cabinets. The red uh, velvet up there. Use some of the ceiling, the uh, backsplash tiles to clean that up a little bit. So, uh, then we're going to try and do something with this counter. We'll let you know how it goes. All right, so just a little bit of contact paper. Clean the countertops up. All fresh and good looking. All right, so I uh, got the peel and stick floor done. We'll take one last look at the bathroom, uh, which that turned up pretty well in the hallway. Uh, let's go to the bathroom. As you remember, that was what we had left to do. So bathroom's done. Nice little decorated, I'm sure, but uh, countertops covered, cabinets painted, peel and stick down, uh, hung a new shower curtain up, so. Uh, I will tell you, if you want to do this kind of thing, this tile with the design on it was made it a lot more difficult than what it probably would have been with just colored tiles, but it did turn out good. So, uh, there you go. There's the bathroom. All right, so with the bathroom done, that pretty much gets us wrapped up on the inside, everything we're planning on doing on the inside of the camper, which leaves one big project, uh, some I've never attempted. We're going to try it and see how it goes, but... Next few weeks, get a break in the weather, we're gonna paint the outside. I'm gonna get a, buy a sprayer and a whole bunch of painter's tape and tape everything off, paint it. Not 100% sure on the cutters yet, but that'll be a separate video that we'll do um, whenever that time comes. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.